Hey guys, it's just Mao Boy here, and you're watching Snap Cackle Pop. Jessica Malboy, welcome Hello. to Snap Cackle Pop. Thank you so much for having me. That's okay. So, look, just first off, it's been a big week for you from an awards point of view. Yeah. Um, you've had uh, Gotcha, got single of the song of the year. Yes. Then um, Something's Coming Over Me, got single of yes. the year yes. as well. Yeah. Any more that we don't um, know about? No. And then um, I think I got um, uh, Best Female um, and... Yeah, best female category. Uh, so I was up against Christina Nu, um, Shelley Morris, who's a, a, a great family friend of mine. Yeah. Um, Casey Donovan. Um, um, and it was inc it was crazy because you know I look up to those you yeah. know within my community. They're you know they're huge and um, and especially to me. So that was a, that was a big one. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you so very much. Well deserved. <laughs> uh, well deserved. And look, you're back. You're back making music. You've uh -huh. done some films. We would speak about that later. <laughs> So first of all, you did till the end of till the end of Earth. Till the end of the Earth. Till the, the end earth. of the Earth. More dancey. Yeah. Um. Yeah, with that, I I've always been a '90s um, fan. Yeah. I, I've always loved Corona. I've yeah. always loved you know, Rhythm of the Night. Yeah. Um, you know, calling Mr. Rainer, calling Mr. Ron. Um, love. Love it. Love everything. <laughs> Labouche, like um, Real McCoy, another night, another dream. And I wanted, I wanted that love. To and in, I wanted to incorporate that in my music. Yeah. Um, you know, still kind of having it modern and um, quite fresh and, and young. And I was working with the Captain Cuts, who I got to work with. Um, and they kind of they generally um, their stuff is more a little bit like dubstep yeah. and and more crazy. So um, it was good to kind of yeah you know work with them and have them know a little bit of you know my background with yeah. music and uh, we played around with a little bit and a, a beautiful top line top line writer J Jada Michaels um, who does a lot you know for yep. a lot of artists and J Lo um, Kelly Clarkson and I. You know, I was standing there. You've been in America a lot recently, haven't well, you? Well, I had been working um, on the rest of the album in, yeah. in LA, so I had the opportunity to work with these guys. And um, I just remember hearing this bell sound. So we're going through a few of their files and could hear this really pretty, quite um, tranquil. Like it was just no, nothing of a bell sound I've never heard before. So. Um, and we, we played it a little bit and all of a sudden this dubstep comes in. I'm like, well, maybe we can cut that out because, you know, my, my, yeah, <laughs> the, um, yeah. So the, we, the, the direction I guess that album, direction yeah. it was, you know, yeah. I didn't want to go too hardcore yeah. and then go out of the you, you, boundaries. Yeah, you don't want to, like, you wanted to take your music to a yeah. next stage, but not, hey, but let's not go too out. far away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we, uh, so we kind of played around with it a little bit and I suggested that, you know, I was missing home at that point and wanted yeah. to ride back home and they looked at me a little bit funny and uh um and then you know it was uh it was like all right well let's go there so i i ended up having to google um my hometown darwin yeah just to give them a bit of a sense of where i come from yeah. and they google were maps. Right. yeah and um <laughs> exactly god love google maps i know we actually um typed to my my address in my darwin home and it came up as a 3d so you could actually see the whole whole of my house um Beautiful. on google but it, anyway Anyway, from that, now, they, so the video as the well. The video, um, you know, I, I suggested that as well that I wanted to go back and film, you know, the red, you know, the yeah. redness, the what I grew up with, you yeah. know, the whole environment um, and the feel and spirituality of it. And uh, working with Emma Tomlety, who's I've never worked with before, and a female director. Yeah. Um, new yeah, experience. I thought it was for gonna, you? yeah, it was yeah. a new experience in terms of I think I th I would have thought it was going to be quite dominating because I'm so strong in, in the sense of what I visually wanted and she's she has a vision already so I wanted it you know I was a little bit nervous of that um that ah. yeah head on head you <laughs> yeah. know the head to head kind of that force but not at all she was really open of my suggestion and you know, we just went with it she had a great team we had most of them I'd worked with before in, in the film world and um it just worked out it just happened the the, the song was there and all all it needed was the honesty, um, you know, the vision. And it's nice to go it. back to your roots. Yeah. Well, where, uh, what, yeah. And just show that as well. Well, just singing the song, yeah. basically, in, in, in the film, yeah, yeah, in the film clip. And new single. New single. Pop a bottle. Pop a bottle. Fill me um, up. You know, I was a little bit nervous about this. This um, I had recorded this song with um, Michael Machetti and a, an incredible um, two writers, Becky Boom and Gino. And... It wasn't my favourite, I must say. Mm -hmm. I've been recording, you know, for half of 
half of the year and um, it was coming to a point where I was, um, you know, just finishing it up and uh, I had listened to this back, I was writing it at the same time and listening to, listening to it back and it, I, I didn't love it at all. It was weird because I, I'm normally, you know, I, I'd kind of move on to another song but there was something that was like, no, my, we'll finish it and, mm. you know, this is only a rough so we can yeah. build on it. Um, I ended up hearing it two weeks back um, after I'd recorded and just was like blown away. I was like, what? I didn't think it would sound that amazing. Yeah. And obviously working with Michael, who's worked with everyone in the industry in LA, um, you know, I, I kind of doubted it for a moment and I'm never usually a doubter. But so it was hard. Sometimes it was a nice hard. To t- it's t- nice. Take. Yeah. yeah, it was nice to kind As of... As an artist. Yeah. And I, I feel on this record I have been able to do that where I've... Um, I felt quite unsure and I love that feeling. I love being able to think about it for a while, go away from it and then come back mm. rather than just... Bang, let's yeah, just do this. Yeah, let's just do yeah. that. So um, I've had a lot of time with this album and I felt, um, I, you know, I could say no with yeah. it as well. So so should we expect the same kind of uplifting, dancey Up- throughout the album? Is there a few ballads thrown oh, in there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's some say, really yeah. heartfelt stuff. I mean, we're going back, we're talking about you know, a song I wrote with um, Fingers called Because, or, um, you know, on my first album I actually wrote that for, and and then, you know, um, Here For Me, which was on the Get em Girls album. So there's quite um, vocal, um, a really quite interesting and quirky um, vocals in there mm-hmm. that you wouldn't think that would go there or a melody that wouldn't necessarily go there at okay. that that first listen but um most of it I've I've had to kind of really sit there and 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 really think hard which <laughs> which is interesting because I'm not yeah um but I feel that I've I really I've, I've formed um um a style and have kind of set my style of music and and on a vocal process of just listening yeah. to where it's going to go so yeah, and the album listening process than anything. And the album title, beautiful, beautiful. One of the yeah. tracks on the album, yes, I guess, but yeah. also Jordan. Yeah, well, um, this was hard because um, it's always hard picking the names. Yeah, on it was really weird because nothing was coming to me. I mean, the first album been waiting. It was it, it was an instant. Get 'em Girls was an instant. The third one, it just didn't come. It just um. And I just remember feeling quite overwhelmed and, and and quite disappointed that I hadn't figured out a name for it. Um, was there a, was there pressure on you? It for was that? a lot yeah. of pressure, and you know I was feeling it from both my management and I felt I was feeling it from my record label too. Like that felt being rushed and mm. um, put on the spot, um, which I hated. I was like, I don't know what to do. I'm conf- I don't know. I don't. It hasn't come to me. When it does, it will. Um, and I was really frustrated. I remember getting the call and them saying, "We need it now. We we're on, we're yeah. up to the master, you know." Yeah. Need to stop. Need, we stop need to doing go. Some stuff. Yes, yeah, yeah. we need to go. And I just wanted to scream at someone. <laughs> <laughs> but um, after listening to the tracks, um, beautiful a song I wrote on the album, um, and I was a little bit nervous because obviously Mariah had brought out a track called "Beautiful yeah. with Miguel." Yeah. And it was to the fact where people were going to really relate it there and knowing that I'm, you know, a huge Mariah fan, it was something that but I did Is it that similar? No, not at all. <laughs> Completely. I think that, that was just playing in my mind. It was really playing on me. And, um, you know, I was asking actually my creative director, um, Jen Lee, and I said, and I had asked her about 20 times in that one, um, you know, in that day that we were having a meeting and she was like, no, Jess, it's... If you, if that's what you're feeling, you must go with that, you know, that first instinct. And I listened to the song, and there was, I was even going through lyrics of my songs and trying to find. <laughs> it was, it was, Something it was, yeah, me. please, please, <laughs> um, pleading, um, and uh, and it just happened. It was, you know, we hadn't written, I hadn't even written it down on a piece of paper, and um, you know, just a kind of freehand writing, and. Um, just to see if it, you know, would looked, if it looked good. It's a nice name for an album. Well, it, I wanted the, I wanted it to be quite celebrated. This album is is, it's my third album and it's been so hard. But I've, I've actually thoroughly enjoyed 
that whole being frustrated and being overwhelmed and you know being told off and and being angry with myself that that's fallen into my songs. Do you say well that's grown you as an artist? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a it's it was a completely different process as yeah. well. Um, you know, being left tracks and just kind kind of just listening to them and, and writing over it. Yeah. So it was, um, it, yeah. And have you written most of the tracks on the album? Yeah, oh, yeah. I know. So I am. There's um, quite a few, I guess, um, there's a, a bit of a surprise on there um, um, with a really good friend of mine who I've grown close with. And um, he's done a lot of work for the record label mm-hmm. and, and um, quite a few other artists that we have um, uh, here at Sony Music. But um, it's called Kick Up Your Heels and so there's a bit of a feature on there and uh, with another artist. Yeah. With this artist. But, um, Not giving anything away. Uh, it's just, it's <laughs> so, it, it really takes me back to my second, the second song I ever released, which was Burn. Yeah. And I love, love, I, love I, I love, I must say, I that was, that <laughs> you, need to, you need to teach me those dance moves, but it really took me back to being cheeky and yeah. forgetting. It's about pop as yeah, well. Yeah, it's pop, yeah. it's what it is, and I I just remember going, this is my burn song from yeah. the Been Waiting album, this is, this is the pocket, um, and, 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 and the funness of this album, this is the backbone of the album, um, and, uh. I, I, I want it to be a single, so I'm hoping that it, it all works out in, in the right form. Okay. Um, okay. All right, um, uh, a couple of things. So we've got our big five big uh, city questions Ooh. coming up shortly. Yeah. But um, you were performing at the NRL with Ricky Martin at the weekend. Oh, my goodness. How was um, that? Yeah, extremely exciting. Um, he's such an incredible guy. Like, he... Um, just always mesmerized by him he's just got this instant kind of like as if he you know presses a button and everyone just kind of drops <laughs> like it's so crazy um you know he's um such a humble and um and uh and a feeler of of, of communicating so he he definitely speaks to you you know that he is actually listening yeah. um Good mentor. He gives, he gives his eyes. Yeah. He gives his his body language is just is fallen. It's all about you, um, and and that's that's you, you never ever see that with, you know, a, 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 obviously a world class artist like himself. You know, you, you don't ever get that, but he gives his time and it makes it all about you. It's crazy. What can we expect from the tour? Uh, tour. Um, November and Jan- no, December and January. December January, yes. Um, yeah, you know what? This it's the theme is is obviously my life and and the environment that I've grown up in. So music sense, um, you know, being growing up in the bush and and getting that sense of, um, I guess togetherness and um, that family orientated kind of feel yeah. and, and music just yeah. in general just singing um, is what I do best there's nothing else that I can I'm not an acrobatic I'm not that flexible <laughs> um, you know so I can't we'll do twist and twist yeah well maybe if I practice that, that, that's it alright um, before, before we end just so we can get to our we always do big silly five questions that yes. are random alright <laughs> <laughs> from I the mean, pictures which I are going to you alright okay who do you have a secret pop crush on oh no you're back <laughs> <laughs>